Good morning guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's currently 10 past eight on the 10th of May, which means we are only three days out from the competition right now. But before we start this video, I just wanna let you guys know that the hard body t-shirts are now available on officialhardbody.com. The link is in the description. Now there is an extremely limited supply on stock because it's my first ever t-shirt and I kinda of just wanted to keep the first t-shirt really concise and just for like my low subscribers, anyone that enjoys the hard body trend series, enjoys the videos or just like supports me in general and it's also a chance for me to say thank you to you guys for all the love and support you've shown on this prep so far and gives you guys a chance to represent everything that we have built on this channel to this day but like i said the link to the t-shirts is the first link in the description down below to further say thank you to you guys we're going to be doing a giveaway now this is everything in the giveaway Okay, so first off, we have two boxes, 12 bars in each of the Cinnamon Best Protein Bar. Then we have another box of 12 bars, Best Protein in small flavor. We have a huge tub of ISO HD in cookies and cream, 70 servings. A tub of Whey HD Salted Caramel, 25 servings. A tub of ISO HD Peanut Butter Candy Bar, 23 servings. Best BCAA in Arctic Ice, which is 30 servings. A tub of Best Aminos with Energy, it's basically like like BCAAs but caffeinated in blue icy Raz 30 servings. My personal favorite, which is the best glutamine, you see me have this in every single video, it's the lime sherbet 50 servings. We have AHD Elite and Sliced. This is a mild testosterone booster and this is a cutting and hardening agent for decrease in body fat. We have some Grenadier fat grips and to finish off, we have some wrist straps by Rise. Oh, and of course you get a BPI Sports shaker to mix all this stuff together, except for the protein bars, unless that's what you're into. Now this is how you enter. I have signed one individual swing tag, so there's only gonna be one winner. I've signed one removable swing tag on one of the back of the hard body t-shirts, and the individual to order the t-shirt and receive this signed swing tag will automatically win the whole giveaway. And then all I'll need from there is picture confirmation proof of the individual who gets it with the swing tag, maybe wearing the hard body t-shirt or whatever, sent to the email down below, brandonhardbody at hotmail.com, and then the winner will be announced on the channel as soon as I receive the picture, and then we'll go through details, you give me your post address, and I'll send you out all of this stuff, which is almost 500 pounds worth of BPI stuff, which is literally insane, like I cannot believe how big this giveaway is, but it is what it is, that is how to enter the giveaway. Now the reason I put the hard body t-shirts up for pre-order right now, and not when the stock comes in in a few weeks, is because I promised that I'll be doing the giveaway around this sort of time and I thought what a better way to do it than so close to my very first competition. So that's the reason they're up for pre-order right now instead of when the stock comes in. Now, like I said in the beginning, there is an extremely limited amount of t-shirts. So that also means there's an extremely limited amount of spaces and opportunity to win this giveaway. So if you are interested in entering the giveaway, make sure you pick up a t-shirt because like I said, there aren't very many at all. Like I purposely did so little just because like I said, I wanted to keep it concise. And honestly, the t-shirt process has been such a long process, but I'm so happy that it's finally out. I'm so happy with the quality. It's everything I imagined it would be. It's everything I dreamed of it being. Now, with all that being said, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are three days out from the competition and we're about to leave to do morning cardio. But before we go, we're gonna do a weigh-in to see where we are currently at. morning i am weighing at 191.8 pounds which is 87 kilos holy crap. now i am so over the moon about that weighing because it's the lowest weighing of this prep so far i do want to get to around 190 originally i wanted to get below 190 but we've only got like three days left whether we're going to get there or not i don't know but i'm still so happy with that weighing to give you some perspective on what i was when i first started cutting i was 212 or 214 pounds so i've lost over 20 pounds throughout the past almost 12 weeks which is insane hey dude Just 
just got done with 40 minutes fasting cardio. This is the final day of low carb. I'm gonna get this out of the way. This is meal number one. 50 grams of sweet potato and 200 grams of hake. Gonna eat this and then head back. We're just outside my coach's house, about to go for the final check-in. We're gonna go over carb loading and how we're gonna approach the next two days to carb load. Today, like I said, is the final day of carb depletion. Oh my God, I cannot wait to just eat so much food. He wants me carb loading on the food that I've been using to basically cut down with, which is sweet potato and oats. So I'm right here right now, about to make the plan for the next two days of carb loading. There he is, how you doing? Right, You're always late, mate. <laughs> You're always late. Yeah. I'll be wearing a BPI track suit. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay guys, so we just went through the mandatory poses and sorted out the last two poses that I'm gonna be doing in my routine. I've been working a lot on my routine and I finally think that I have it all together. Over the next few days, I just need to practice and practice and practice and make it perfect. I've already been practicing a lot. There was just two poses at the end that I needed like to fill up the routine with, but we got them now. We're just about to talk about the plan for carb loading and then I'll get back to you guys when we have the plan. Yeah, protein out as well, didn't I? Yeah, it was dropped. Yeah, 175 of turkey from 200 chicken. We just finished with my coach. Now, without going into too much detail, if you watch my last full day of eating, you'll know what my macros were. Now, based on what has just been written down, only an estimation, I'm gonna be having about 120 protein. So it's been, my protein has been basically half, 280 to 300 carbs. So my carb has literally been tripled or quadrupled. Fat was seven, but I think it's gonna be around like 20. It's still low to be honest, but that is an estimation. And also he gave me this, which is for Friday to increase my carbs even further pure Vitago, which is basically just like a pure carb sauce. He wants me to mix a scoop in with meal one, three, and five with my sweet potato. So that is what I'm doing. Those are the basic changes. All we need to do now is go back, have a pre-workout meal, and destroy the last workout. So I just got to the gym. We're at Prime Fitness in Worcester, and honestly, I had no idea how much time I have. It's literally 11 o'clock and this gym is the only gym that's open until 12 o'clock. It's such a sick gym and it is saving my life right now. We're here about to kill a chest, arms, and the final cardio workout, which is gonna be 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. We're gonna destroy this. Also, I just finished drinking my pre-workout drink, which is the lime sherbet, our glutamine, and the best BCA I shredded. Got back, deep throated a meal. I've never eaten a meal so fast in my life. Down this, and now I'm at the gym. Now we're about to train. I'm so high, but this is the last workout and I know it's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna push myself. We're gonna kill this workout. Let's go. Okay, so I just sat down five minutes, let my food go down, let my drink go down, because honestly, if I just trained, like straight away after eating the meal, like I've never eaten a meal so fast in my life. I, dr I almost drank the meal that was that fast, but I think I'm ready now. My food is settled. Let's go. So we're coming to the end of the workout now. The reason that I'm kind of like keeping myself covered up is because I want to keep the package almost like a bit of a secret before show day. I don't really know why. I don't even want to see my own physique, honestly. I just want to keep it a surprise for myself, a surprise for you guys. So I'm keeping this on for this workout. But right now we're about to hit the last exercise, which is a tricep superset, which is something I've been doing to try and bring up my triceps over the past six months and it seems to be working. So this is the superset. Then we're going to hit some cardio and get home. All right, so first off, we're using the rope. Make sure to keep your elbows in, your back almost like tense a little bit, and your elbows directly down the other side. And then when you come down, make sure your wrists flick out to tend your triceps as hard as possible. I'm gonna do this for 10 reps. Or 12. Ah. Now we're going to do this, which is a close grip. Kind of weird, but you roll your shoulders forward 
and just squeeze your triceps as much as humanly possible. It's hard to explain, but this is how you do it. So your shoulders forward, wrist like this, and squeeze over the top, and it just hits the tricep from a completely different angle than it's used to. And you just for about 10 to 12 as well. Four, five, six, You do that for about four sets at the end of your workout and the burn is ridiculous. Just finished the cardio, final cardio workout of this prep. All I gotta do now is keep my feet up, do as little as possible, even though I've got such a busy day tomorrow, but I'll be taking you along with me for the preparation before body power, because I'm gonna be at body power on the Friday. So finally over, the package that I'm gonna bring to the stage will be everything that I've been working for for almost five years, the physique that I bring. <sighs> I'm excited about it. I need to head back home now, have one more meal, edit this video and get up early tomorrow to get everything done. I'm gonna record as much as possible, keep it all as raw as possible to give you guys almost the same experience that I'm experiencing myself. I'm excited about it. I think that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't smoke me, no, I'm planning No one gets to know